Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So this video is gonna be my May monthly reset. I love making these videos, so I always look forward to them and I'm very excited. We're gonna be doing all the typical stuff I do in my monthly resets. We're gonna go through my May TBR. We're gonna do my April wrap up and we're gonna set up my May reading journal spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite books you read in April or your least favorite, what books you're planning to read in May, comment down, anything. I love talking to you guys and let's get into it. I think we should start with my May TBR. There are three books in this TBR that I wanted to read in April that I didn't get to but I still am planning to read them at the start of May. So I'm gonna quickly say what they are but I'm not gonna go in detail since I did talk about them in my April TBR. Firstly, Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. This is a dark romance. It's also I think a mafia romance. Hooked by Emily McIntyre. This is another dark romance and it is a Peter Pan retelling. And then God of Wrath which is on Kindle Unlimited, and it is another dark romance. You might be picking up on a theme, but look out for that video, hopefully coming soon. And then the other books I wanna read, we have Flawless by Elsie Silver. This series, the Chestnut Spring series, has been on my TBR for a really long time, probably like a year at this point. It is a very popular romance series. It is a cowboy romance series. I've never read a cowboy romance before. I didn't realize until recently that like cowboys were a real thing. <laughs> like I kind of thought of them as like pirates, like they're not really real, I don't know. I don't know what makes someone a cowboy. Um, but this is the first book in the series. I have not picked up this series yet because I haven't heard the best things about the first book, but I've heard really good things about the second book, Heartless, which I've been really wanting to pick up, but I've been going back and forth on whether I should read the series in order, and I decided that I do want to read it in order. I have all the books, so I feel like I might as well just read it in order, but I haven't heard the best things about the first book, so I have been putting it off. And I was planning on doing a video where I read this series, but I then decided I'm not going to because I don't like reading books in a series all at once. I like to read them over a while, like in between other books, because I feel like I might get sick of this series. So I think I'm just going to sprinkle the books in here and there and not read it all together. This book, I think, follows a bull rider. It says he was the golden boy of professional bull riding, but then he said something that got him in trouble in the media. So the female main character, who I think is his agent's daughter, now has to like babysit him and just make sure he cleans up his image. He doesn't do anything to mess up his image. So she lives with him, which I love that. I love that we have the close proximity. That is always so much fun. But she's also his like agent's daughter. So it's like, what's the word? Forbidden. I'm very excited. I haven't read a cowboy romance. So I'm very excited to go into this world. And it is also like a small town series. And I feel like those are always just really cozy. So I'm excited. And then we have Done and Dusted, which is another cowboy romance by Lila Sage. This has been on my TBR for so a while. I was gonna originally read it on Kindle Unlimited, but like the covers are so pretty that I just really wanted to have them. Like even if I don't love the books, the covers are just so gorgeous that I want them. This is a brother's best friend romance. I think the male main character is more of a bad boy, whereas the female main character is like the opposite maybe. Her name is also Clementine, which is so cute. I don't know, it sounds very good. I've heard very like average sort of reviews on it. Like I don't think it's gonna be an amazing romance, but I think it's just gonna be fun. I have two books and I wanna read one of them, but I can't decide which one. So if you have read either of them, please let me know which one you think I should read. If you've read one of them and really like it, let me know, please. Or if you've read one of them and didn't like it, let me know because I just can't decide. But we have Take the Heart, or Here With Me, they are both cowboy romances and they're on Kindle Unlimited. So Tame the Heart is a grumpy ex sunshine romance. I think the male main character is like extremely grumpy, keeps his distance, he doesn't open up. And the female main character has to work for him for three months and help him save his home, which is his like ranch. It sounds really cute. I feel like this is just gonna be a really sweet book. And then Here With Me is ex-boyfriend's dad romance which I know is a little questionable for some people but I find this trope a lot of fun like I don't take it very seriously 
but yeah it's like an age gap and that's all i really know but it sounds really good it's also a workplace romance so i don't know which one i should read but please let me know if you've read either of them and then for manga i want to continue the horimaya series this is volume six and i'm currently halfway through it and i want to read up to volume 10 this month because i've been slacking on the manga recently i want to read so much manga this year and i've just not been picking it up as much but i'm gonna pick up volume 7 to 10 from the library today and hopefully read them throughout the month but yeah this is a uh romance high school manga series and it's a very sweet series i feel like it's a little over the top i feel like a lot of manga is a bit over the top in the way that it's written like the female main character is a bit like jarring but she's also really sweet so i don't know i feel like it's just fun it's not very serious but also it's just an overall very sweet series and i want to try and finish it soon and then start another series i have other videos reading videos i want to film this month but i don't know what books i'll be reading in them yet so i feel like my tbr is gonna be a bit longer but those are all the set books i have that i want to read i have high hopes for this tbr it is also a lot of romance there's not a single fantasy book so hopefully i can read fantasy in the other videos i'm planning to film this month lately i've just been on a romance high but i should be reading more fantasy i've just been in a romance mood lately now we're gonna go into my april wrap up through my reading journal let's get into it my favorite book of april was check and mate i read that book in my last reading vlog if you want to see my full thoughts here is my completed april spread we have my reading tracker filled out i'll be honest this is like one of my least favorite spreads i have done i feel like the colors and everything i don't know i'm just not a big fan of it there was water damage in my journal as well i don't know how it happened but water like leaked through and ruined some of my spreads unfortunately you can see in this one i tried to fix this as much as i could but i kind of just gave up because <laughs> I was more just really annoyed that water got in it since I hadn't opened my journal in ages because I had only read one book for most of April so I wasn't going into my reading journal and then somehow water got in it and ruined it but I was in a reading slump from the 1st to the 18th. I only read one book which was Gleam but then I did thankfully get out of my reading slump and I read a bit more. So I only read two books from my TBR. I did finish the cat who saved books on the 1st of may so i didn't count it but i did finish another book from that and then the books i read in april in this spread i am gonna be changing this spread a bit in may so we have gleam salt kiss check in may horomaya volume 4 horomaya volume 5 moving on we have my uploads i uploaded four videos um i actually did really well this month with my like views and everything this video got 1.5k which is a lot for me and then my april wrap up cottage spread this is one of my favorite actually this might be my favorite cottage house i've done i think it's so cute i used color pencils in this one usually i just use textile but i incorporated color pencils and i'm so happy i did that i think it looks so cute like i'm so happy with it in the door we have the books i read five my average rating 4.25 tbr read 25 percent and then the genre one we have four romance one fantasy and then in this one my page is read 1720 but yeah overall i love this spread took one step out the door wish i'd taken before i can't make a man
completed May spread. I love this spread so much. This might be one of my favorites. I think it's so cute. I love the colors I used. I love the butterflies. I love that I went with a theme based on the butterfly stickers I had. I feel like that was so much fun. So I did this one a bit differently. Usually I would have in the first page May and then my reading tracker, but I decided to do two pages. So in this part, I did my TBR and I wrote it all out. And then I did some goals for the month. So most of them are like reading and YouTube related, but I added some other ones. So post eight YouTube videos, which is very ambitious, but I love to have ambitious goals. Um, post more on TikTok, post more on Instagram, finish a painting and journal frequently. Then we have my tracker. So yeah, I did mess up here and I did two extra squares. So I just covered it with paper. And then this page I think is so cute. This butterfly doesn't look as cute as how I envisioned it, but I mean, overall it's still cute. So I did this a lot differently than my usual book thread spreads for each month. So I'm gonna make it a bit more, less formal. I feel like I usually have a set out for a picture and then I'll write something and I set out for a picture, but I think I'm just gonna do it a bit more randomly like i'm not gonna have a set place for them but i'm gonna try and put three pictures on each page and if i read more i will continue on and make more spreads i'm also going to be writing different stuff for the books so in the past i would write the book author format genre mood thoughts dates and pages i'm gonna shorten this because i feel like some of them are unnecessary like the book and the author you can clearly see like the book title and the author in the picture. So it's just like pointless. So I'm just going to keep format, genre. I'm not going to do mood because I also feel like that's kind of pointless. Um, thoughts I'm also not going to do because usually when I do it on this spread, I'm very lazy with it. I feel like I don't have a lot of room and I'm just like very lazy with my thoughts. So I'm just going to get rid of it. But I'm going to keep dates and pages. So I'm very excited to see what this looks like when I fill it out. But yeah, that is my May spread. I usually fill out my reading journal spreads in my reading vlog. So if you want to see this while it's being filled out, you can see that in my reading vlogs. I always have heaps of reading journal content in my reading vlogs. That is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this video. Um, the reading journal content is of course my favorite part i love doing my reading journal and i love setting up for each month thank you for watching if you like you can follow my book instagram or my book tiktok i also have a goodreads if you want to see more content from me you can always check out those um and they're always linked down below thank you for watching bye